I know this is supposed to be a walking tour of the neighborhood, but uh, we're gonna make it a jogging tour because screw it. Also, San Diego this is the fourth healthiest city in America. So let's keep the thing going. So right now, I'm right off the beginning of 54th Street, right where it turns into, from Callaway to 54th. And I'm at the Wesley United Methodist Church. Really cool little church. Nothing too out of the ordinary, but there is one really cool thing about this place. What's really dope about it is the fact that you got all these different languages having mass, or sorry, I don't know what the term is. But you got English, Vietnamese, Cambodian. Also, I think they just removed it, but usually there's the Spanish session also. And it just really shows the crazy diversity of the area. Really cool place. Horace Mann Middle School, named after the great Horace Mann himself, father of public education. Uh, it was built in 1952. That just shows you how long this area has been pretty established. Um, it's also really cool, well spot to notice, is I'm not even gonna act like I know how to pronounce that name. Live King Crab, not something you're gonna find in Poway. Okay, and we're making our way down 54th, South Ways. There's that new extension building, shout out public education. See, there's Trojan Ave, here's 54th. You take a left here and you go right down there down 54th again wait what i don't know that's confusing i don't know how that's 54th and that's 54th what all right whatever okay and we're going down this little offshoot of 54th just really cool to see that you have these single family homes right here obviously healthy community kids playing outside and then you have these apartment buildings just a lot of mixed zoning going on if you look over there, see that giant crane? There's obviously a little more high density construction going on. The population of San Diego is always growing. Always need more in infilling and development. Super dope. Okay, before I take you to one of the cooler views of the spot right over here, the Orange Street Bridge, there are two really dope schools I want to talk about. Just look how cool these people's yards are. So dope. So right down the street from 54th and Orange Ave, we have ourselves the Great Crawford High School, named after William Crawford himself. I mean, I don't really know who he was up until I looked him up, but I guess he was a superintendent for San Diego United Fi Unified School District back in like 1930. And yeah, they named this fantastic school after him. It's been commissioned since like the 1950s. Okay, we're back on our way down Orange Ave. So this right here is the second school I was talking about, the Waldorf School of San Diego, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's an alternative learning school, kind of expensive, but it's just super dope that there's a second form of K-12 education offered right next to Crawford and Horace Mann, then Edriff or elementary school right down the street and right across the street we have the beginning of the clean of the soul park and it starts off right here off of 54th in orange with the swimming pool public swimming pool obviously closed right now because of covid but during any other regular summer i'm sure you'd find plenty of kids from the surrounding area swimming in the pool including the Waldorf. So, we are currently on Orange Avenue. I have my favorite view of our little tour. There's nothing necessarily special about the bridge, besides the fact that you can see all the way down there, almost down to the 94, where you cut into Southeast San Diego. And, you look around to the other side, you get to see all the way to SCSU. See this tall building over there? And favorite part about this little bridge, it leads you right into the Clean Adult Soul Park. And here we are. Here's one of the first entrances right here. I mean, I just absolutely love this park. You got six tennis courts. Tennis clubs need not apply. Extremely healthy public park. Handball right there. Recreation center. Plenty of basketball being played. You get 
a little playground for the kids. You got these three baseball diamonds that can be used for anything but baseball. More than likely gonna be used for soccer. Super dope commissioned art. In here, playing basketball, nice shot. And right here, there's a youth building. This place has everything, I swear. And over in this area, you get the kind of more family-oriented fields. People come around, read on the benches. Over there, I'll shoot over there in a second. There's grills being done. Yeah, family-oriented place. Obviously pretty healthy. So, just a little bit of history of this stunning place. So, it was established and dedicated to the city of San Diego in 1962. The whole park and the recreation center over there. And, funny enough, the place got its name Clean Up Del Sol because of a bunch of school children who at one point in time had the vote to call it the Slopes of the Sun. Literally just the direct translation of Clean Up Del Sol. Okay, and we are moving on, continuing our jog. We're going back to 54th Street. At these places, man. Absolutely insane. It just shows you. The ethnic breakdown of this area is insane. New goal of mine is to find out what that means and then eat there because I'm sure it's good or not, who knows. Okay, and we are back on 54th and as we continue our jog, you're gonna run into University Avenue and take a right and we're on to a super cool Buddhist temple. Okay, and we're making our way down University. Oh, wow, look at that. With the sunset, sun glow, absolutely crazy. So shout out African boutique and hair braiding. And I don't know what language that is, but. Here's the residence across the street from the temple. And there's the temple itself. So I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name of the place. I'm just gonna put it up on the screen. So I'll have a very hard time doing so. But I do know that this is a Laotian Cambodian Buddhist temple. I was trying to find out when it was built, but I'm not too sure. Wow, just super intricate. You really feel like you're in a different country when you're looking at this area. It's amazing. doing their prayers in there. I kind of feel bad for speaking so loud. But I do know this right here used to be a church and they bought it and they converted it in 2005. It just kind of gives like a physical representation to the Laotian and Cambodian population that are really strong here. If you look at the ethnic breakdown map of the area. Super cool. On to the next one. So the temple is right here off of 52nd Street and University. And this down 52nd is where we continue our jogging journey. Let's go. See another half of Clino del Sol Park, which is a golf course. It's really small. You can see how big it is right here. It just goes from there to there, but also has some Frisbee golf. This place has everything you could ever want. It's just too cool. Even free books. What the heck are they teaching kids now? Jesus. Even more cool stuff. Cool cats. See them everywhere. I'll be honest. I don't know too much of the history of this area. Right now we're connecting back over at Orange Avenue through 52nd, but I do know is absolutely beautiful. With apartment complexes like this, you see that a lot of architects and developers really have to work with the San Diego hillsides that this area is built up on, or built up on. Just a super distinct feature of the Colina del Sol area. It's just how hilly it is and how the developers get around that with these large high density buildings. It's just super dope to look at. Right now, still continuing down 52nd. Look at that. Take your jog during sundown. It's so hilly here. You honestly think you're in the middle of San Francisco or something. Aye, aye, aye. 
even more beautiful maintenance of an area. So right now, seeing off Trojan, just a perfect little display of the diverse housing options. You go down here, you look way down there, you get a bunch of single family homes, way over further, more single family homes, and then you get this high density housing right here. Okay, we're still moving. About to show up to one of my favorite spots. Okay, so we just got off 52nd. We're reaching back to El Cajon Boulevard. Get to that in a second. But we've arrived at the World Market. Super cool. Trying to buy ice. See, I wish Vaughn's. He even been close. To be honest, I don't know if this is, but I'd like to try it. It comes in Monday? Monday. Wednesday uh -huh. and Friday. Okay. Awesome. Okay. And so you guys sell like fresh fish every two days? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got the clams. All kind of needs. Look at all these different types of imported drinks. So dope. Okay, we're out of here. Gotta check it out for yourself. Okay, we've left World Foods Market supermarket. And we are arriving off of 52nd Street onto El Cajon Boulevard. And El Cajon Boulevard kind of marks the end of the Colonial del Sol neighborhood. Colonial del Sol, south of El Cajon Boulevard, and then Talmadge. Completely different neighborhood, most of the Caucasian population right there. Talmadge. It's cool, they have these cool gates and stuff over there, but it's not as cool as Plano del Sol. Okay, now that we've made it to the extent of Plano del Sol, far corner, good body mortuary, and Supan. Uh, let's get down to the history of El Cajon Boulevard, because this place is freaking dope. Historically significant to San Diego and the country. So, El Cajon Boulevard, before even these things were driving around, was called El Cajon Avenue originally. As business increasingly grew, they eventually changed it to Boulevard because I guess that's the name you change it to when the street gets busy. What really got this place going off was the fact that it's a very busy and used road. And during the beginning of cars and car ownership, you saw a huge increase in the need to build infrastructure for cars because there's we're slowly becoming a car dependent society and so as San Diego grew and more and more people owned cars in San Diego they built this road and made it wide and it became kind of this economic center for going out east from the main city of San Diego now what really made this pop off was the fact that the I-80, the first intercontinental freeway, actually led and attached right into it, far out east. What's crazy about the I-80 is the fact that it went all the way from San Diego on the west coast, all the way, if you go far enough that way, to Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. And you might be thinking this was happening in like the 50s and 60s. No, other stuff happened then. This is happening in the 20s. So as we take our jogging, that has now turned into a walking tour, back towards Wesley Methodist Church, we are taking the same route that President JFK took in 1963 when he came to tour San Diego. Had him land in San Diego, San Diego airport, and then he had a motorcade they came down El Cajon Boulevard and led him to SDSU, where he gave their 1963 commencement speech. His stop in San Diego was kind of a predecessor to his presidential stop in Dallas, which went great. Yeah, real great. Anyways, that is El Cajon Boulevard for you, which is amazing. And we're right back to where we started, the Wesley United Methodist Church. And as the sun sets, Right over there. Never forget. Your neighborhood's probably dope. Check it out. There's all these small intricacies that really make it a community. Peace out from Michael Turlock for San Diego State University. 
Geography of Cities class.